it's kind of, I mean, it's obvious to us, but it's hilarious to think if you don't accept that there's differences between men and women. It's interesting that all of these transgender women are dominating women's sports, but I have never seen one transgender man uh, compete effectively in any men's sport I ever. I have not seen that. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe it's because men and women are different. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. But, you know, I think a lot of feminists have sort of created this problem and brought this problem on themselves. Oh, and now they're undermining themselves. <laughs> I mean, you've seen with the women's soccer team, with the um, NWA, or WNBA, NWA. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> a little dyslexic. There. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, Ice. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, with the WNBA, um, you know, all these all these athletes are saying, "Oh, we should get paid just as much as the men get paid because mm-hmm. we're just putting in the same amount of work." You know, it's just as good of a product. Actually, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> but you asked. You know what? You wanted to be treated like a man. How about we put a bunch of men in your sport and let's let's see how that goes. <laughs> exactly. Well, and I mean, the, the feminist movement has been completely undermined by the trans movement yes. and the feminist movement. It's it's, you know, that vicious circle of feminist movement gave birth to the yeah. to the trans and LGBT movement, because it's like, yeah, as soon as you demand equality, society would be like, here it is. And then um, once you're kind of checked off, a lot of people are right. like, all right, women now equal to men, taking care of that problem. Right. Now moving on to the next minority, which is trans. Um, yeah. And all of a sudden, all these women are like, uh-oh, what have we done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess the problem to me, yeah, it's been this conflation of what equality is versus right. what equity is. So like, the idea out there is that what equality looks like is we have the same level of success, the same everything. Mm-hmm. It's not we... And, and to get there, you cannot treat people the same because people are different. Exactly. So, so they, want, they, they want us all to be treated differently. And that's, that's what's really destroying women's sports. And honestly, that's what feminism has done to destroy women's everything women's, I, in general. Exactly. Because people are demanding that they be treated the same way. But then they turn right back around and yeah. say, you know, in this rampant individualism that you have to yeah. be very wary of every single person's mm. capabilities and sensibilities and emotions and it doesn't make any sense yeah um and if you can't you can't have both of those things yes and what they've done is they've tried to adopt both of radically individual as well as radical equ- um, equality and how people are treated exactly like we're all the same human and guess what that doesn't work <laughs> and too often to me conservatives think that the issue is we're trying to feminize men, we're trying to make we- men Mm-mm. more like women. I mean, there's a little bit of that, but that there, is I not mean, the issue. That's that's like a symptom. Yeah. That's a side, yeah. side issue. It's really the opposite is what's going on, is that, you know, feminism, from its, from its inception, you know, modern-day feminism, one of the mothers of modern-day feminism, mm-hmm. Simone de Beauvoir, you know, she did an interview where she said, if women have, you know, women, if left to their own devices, will not leave the house and pursue careers as often as men do. Yeah. So it's our job to force them to leave. It's it's society's job to yeah, force women to start acting like men. And we've sort of done that. Oh, yeah. I mean, we sort of. We've absolutely yeah. done that. Where it's gone to a point that even... Um, even women who are, you know, more conservatively grounded, oh, yeah. Christian worldview, yeah. um, build up guilt complexes about not having a career. Like, yeah. it's it's weird to be like, oh, you know, I, I want a, a different path, maybe a, a mother and a wife or something like that. And we're right. all of a sudden, even within yourself, I as a woman can speak to this as a conservative <laughs> Christian woman, where it's like, oh, my goodness, if... Is that is there something wrong with me if I decide right. that if if I don't you know aggressively pursue a career am I doing something wrong am yeah. I not being a powerful woman <laughs> and you know what you're starting to see and I've you know I know this from some of the women in my life and I know this because I've listened to people like Jordan Peterson talk about it <laughs> and um, start of what you're what you're starting to see a little bit of is these you know you got career driven women that just they abandon the whole idea of having a family yeah. for the first several decades of their lives they commit themselves to politics or not politics to <laughs> careers, <laughs> to careers to politics as well <laughs> yeah. um to their career and then and then there gets to be a point at 30 35 40 where it's like oh okay now i want a family it's like well unfortunately you know not everyone is like you know 
Hollywood, they run a lot of stories about how Hollywood celebrities will like have a kid at 40. Yeah. That's not the most realistic thing in no, the world. No, it's believe not. It or not. <laughs> and the biological, you know, clocks for men and women are very different. And let's, it's look, if, if I think that if you want to be a career driven woman, if you want to spend your time doing that, more power to you. That that could very well be the best decision for you. Right. Like, Just know that sure. there are sacrifices. <laughs> yes. You can't go back. You can't yeah. take it back once you've done it. Yeah. Every yeah. everything has sacrifices. Every good thing requires sacrifices. You can be doing very good things still require sacrifice of yeah. things that are also good. And that's just the curse of being human. That's yeah. just something uh, we are so taught in our culture by Hollywood and everything that you can have it all. It's actually impossible. Mm. You cannot. And that is a really, really harsh reality for women biologically. Yeah. Um, you know, it is for men too, but it's a little different for women. Um, and it's just, it's just a lie to think that you can have it all. Yeah. And you can, and the media is lying to you. The, you know, establishment's lying to you. This is a big choice that we're all going to have to make. And, you know, too many people seem to be regretting it after it's too late.